especially when it appears to be able to do something astonishing. In the city's most advanced hospital, 21-year-old factory worker Chun Gunlian has a hole in the heart and her health is deteriorating. She's about to have open heart surgery. Even with the best medical equipment, it's a risky operation. Her chest will be cut open and her heart stopped. But Gunlian will go through all of this without a general anaesthetic. Instead, she's chosen acupuncture. Although sedated by drugs and her chest numbed, she'll be conscious throughout the whole procedure. The doctors stimulate the needles using an electrical current. As the surgeon begins, the success of the operation depends not just on his skill, but on the power of acupuncture. Acupuncture is an effective painkiller. It's also less damaging to the body than a general anaesthetic. It seems incredible, but Gullian's doctors have done more than 300 similar operations. What could possibly explain what's going on? Gunlian's operation is entering the most dramatic phase. They check she's okay as they prepare to stop her heart to repair the hole. It seems amazing to me that acupuncture is even considered for such a life-threatening operation. But after two hours of intricate surgery, everything appears to have gone well. Remarkably, just two days after the operation, Gunlian is sitting up in bed, telling her sister the story. Her memories are still vivid. I remember the doctor stuck a needle into my hand and felt my pulse. Then he put another needle in here and here near my vein. Then my whole body started to tremble. When the scalpel started to cut the bone, I could hear it all. But I didn't feel any pain, not a thing. The speed of Gunlian's recovery is impressive. Just a week after the operation, she's ready to check out. And there's one other benefit to the acupuncture. The bill is a third of the cost of an operation with general anaesthetic.